grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Well, welcome to this Sunday service. We've made it to the season of Easter, although for many of us it may still feel that we're in the wilderness of Lent or in the tomb of Holy Saturday. We're all needing to adapt and improvise in some way, as I'm needing to do today with these makeshift communion vessels, which are the only ones available to me. But we are still able to unite around these symbols of bread and wine, and through the words and prayers that we offer through them, and through the Spirit who dwells within us all. When it comes to communion today, I will be receiving bread and wine on behalf of all of us. And I hope that you're able to receive the grace of the Eucharist as I do so. If you would like to partake of your own bread and wine, please feel free to do that too. I shall also be saying a special prayer that we may know spiritual communion with God through Christ for those for whom that would be needed. In baptism, we died with Christ, so that as Christ was raised from the dead, we might walk in newness of life. Let us receive new life in him as we confess our sins in penitence and faith. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with the living bread. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
the collect for today. God of glory, by the raising of your Son, you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope, for a new day has dawned and the way to life stands open in our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Virginia is now going to bring us today's Gospel reading and sermon. Matthew 28 After the Sabbath, at dawn, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and, going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were as white as snow. The guards were so afraid that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He's not here. He has risen. Just as he said, come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples this. He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid, yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. This is the word of the Lord. Hello, everyone. It's wonderful to be with you. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the Reverend Ginny Luckett. Happy Easter. When I was thinking and praying about what message I should bring you in these extraordinary times, God reminded me of a souvenir that Tim and I brought back from the Holy Land when we visited a couple of years ago. And here it is. It is the world famous Hebron glass. And I'm sure many who have visited the region will have brought back such mementos as this. And when we visited the glass making factory, we heard the story of how the glass is made. And this glass is made up of lots and lots of broken, smashed, recycled glass that is reheated together, blown, and makes these wonderful, unique, special types of vases. And if that's not a resurrection picture, I don't know what is. What was smashed, broken, and seen as rubbish when refined through the refiner's fire becomes beautiful and glorious. And this, of course, is the paradox of our faith, that in the midst of life, there is death. But by God, in the midst of death, there is the possibility of new life. Extraordinary. And who amongst us have not grieved with Mary as we remember standing with our own loved ones as Mary stood at the foot of Jesus' cross, waiting, anxiously waiting, waiting and hoping. And who of us have not gone through that deep valley of desolation at the loss of a loved one? like the experience of the disciples on Holy Saturday, when everything, everything 
that they had hoped for, dreamed for, wanted and expected was smashed to a million pieces. And yet, we hear in this version of the Gospel from Matthew 28, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, not his mother, make their way to the tomb where they are expecting to embalm his body and pay their last respects. And yet they encounter an angel and the angel gives them the most almost unbelievable message that Jesus is risen, he's no longer dead. And the evidence is that they can look in the tomb to see where he was laying and he is no longer there. And in their joy and, let's face it, terror, as they run to find the other disciples, suddenly he is with them. And what does he say? Greetings. Goodness me. Greetings. Well, and then he tells them to not be afraid. To not be afraid his message that he always gives us, to not be afraid, but to go and tell his other disciples that he is risen and will see them in Galilee. And so my friends, in this extraordinary time where we together are effectively entombed, locked down, self-isolated in our own homes. We remember together the resurrection hope. We remember that we have a God that could not be held by death. We have a God that has broken the chains of suffering and misery for the world. And we have a God who promises new hope new future and glorious resurrection. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. We say together the words of our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our prayers for Easter Day. The responses to the prayers are, Lord hear us, Lord graciously hear us. Let us pray to God, who alone makes us dwell in safety. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy, in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. A prayer for Easter Day. Alleluia! We give thanks for this new dawn in the story of humanity, your creation, Lord. You have brought back your only Son from the death 
inflicted by those he came to save. As we rejoice in his resurrection, let us commit ourselves and you to see your hand in the hope that radiates out from this great event. Like Mary in the garden, may we glory in the ordinary, glimpse eternity in a small flower. Great is the day that you have made, Lord, for us all. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all who are affected by coronavirus through illness or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping national policies, that they may make wise decisions. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For doctors, nurses and medical researchers, that through their skill and insights, many will be restored to health. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they may know your comfort and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. And they were glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love you made us for yourself. When we turned away you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ you shared our life, that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross, and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed, at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all.
as we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory. Send your Holy Spirit, that this bread and this wine may be the body and blood of your dear Son. Through these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. And with your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are isolated, yet we are one body, because we all share in one bread. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given us, for all the pains and insults you have borne for us, for us who cannot now receive you sacramentally, we ask you to come spiritually into our hearts. O oh, most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. This is the body of Christ, broken for us all. This is the blood of Christ, shed for us all. God of life who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy. Grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may ever look more live with him in the joy of his risen life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now may Christ, who out of defeat brings new hope and a new future, fill you with his new life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and all those whom you love this day 
and for evermore. Amen. With the power that raised Jesus from the dead at work within you, live in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.